Today, we're gonna to be talking about Al Bagra Fortress and why it was the worst control map of all time. Let's get into it. Fortress control, you know, pretty much unanimously regarded as the worst control map of MW2 and probably the worst control map uh, that we've ever had to play on the competitive side of Call of Duty. This was an absolute doozy of a map to both watch and to play, and we're gonna be breaking down why that was and what, based on the map structure, uh, allowed that to happen, and basically how that map was played on a competitive level. So as you guys probably know, it was a really high percentage for the defense to win on this map. It was about an 80 to 85% chance uh, for defenses to close out the win on the round. And that just created a whole stale dynamic where teams were basically just trying to figure out how to win an offense or not even how to win an offense, but just how to get as many ticks as possible on maybe one point. You know, if you probably ask most teams, they would say a one to two tick round for offense was, you know, an actual win on the round because of how hard it was to get ticks on this map. So to break down why it was so hard for the offense, let's first go into the whole structure of the map. So obviously we have the offensive spawns here, defensive spawns, we have A, we have B. The main thing for the offense was the amount of exits that they would have from their spawn. So we call these choke points basically. So this is one choke point, this is another choke point, this is the third choke point. If you compare this to something like Hotel, there's just so little amount of exits from the offensive spawn for them to actually try to escape and get onto one of these two points. You know, if, if we're talking about these choke points where these are funnels that teams would have to push through in order to get onto the point or exit their spawn. In case of the holding team or the defense, they're basically just holding these three lanes and making sure that they're covering those at all times. And you know, when you're funneling teams into these narrow doorways where they have to go through one of these three, it's super hard for the offense to actually get anything going on their side. You know, technically since there's only three, one, two, three choke points, you can maintain an, a full setup with a 3v4 you know, man disadvantage. You can technically have one guy off spawn and still technically have all the lanes covered. You know, if you compare this to something like Hotel or Raid, it's actually hilarious how little amount of exits that we had going in the offensive spawn. And it created just a weird dynamic where offense was so handicapped based on the option that they were given. So basically required teams to completely win off of the break off in order to get any sort of momentum going and possibility of winning the round. You know, if an offensive team won the break off, there was a better chance that they would get ticks or even maybe a full cap or even the win, but it was such a small probability. And if they went three or four down just one time, you know, this trap could be set up once again by the defensive team. You know, all you basically would need one guy P1, one guy top dub, uh, watching the main arch. He's watching anyone that might be jumping out uh, top maps. Let's say you have a guy top single here and let's say the floater is, you know, open or something like that. So let's say this is the setup that you're, you're trying to contain with as a defense. You know, it is just so hard for the offense to just get anything going with this setup. And technically, let's say we don't even have this guy back open here, you, we're still covering all three lanes. This is just such a problem with how this map is structured specifically. And the fact that we used it for control was just kind of mind blowing if you look back on it. You know, let's say the only fixes that I can think of uh, that you can make is, let's say they had a, a another doorway to bottom maps here and you can get through uh, so you can bypass this main archway lane. Or if you opened up an entrance and exit uh, from here, uh, to P1, just so there's another lane for them to have to watch, you know, making it from three to five or three to four just creates a, such a big difference. And it would have raised this win rate by at least a few percentage points. And you know, this is really the only fixes you can make for the offensive team. If they didn't win off break off, it was just trap city. And if they did win off the break off, there was a chance that they could win the round or at least get ticks. And the strategy was basically, you know, getting inside uh, their base and just trying to finesse your life and basically try not to block any of these back spawns here so they spawn close so you know you're just trying to absolutely finesse your life in this area to try and get them thinking make them wrap back for you and just get bodies off of your teammates trying to come off spawn so there's one less person watching that and you can create some type of opening onto one of these sites you know i guess a, a really good strategy if you're just trying to play this with ranked teammates is basically just trying to get as many ticks possible b side off the break off that's and personally, my opinion, at least with players and teams where you're not necessarily calming all the time and uh, everyone isn't really on the same page, you know, starting with a B hit, 
uh, with one person jumping out maps, maybe uh, two people coming out of this lane and one person top maps watching over him. You know, this is probably the easiest way, maybe getting a pick off top single and maybe winning a gunfight towards open. You get those two picks and then you just completely stack the point. Uh, it's basically the only way uh, four teams in, in rank play to start getting something going because you know once you get top locked down This is just the easiest lane to watch over You know anyone with an AR is gonna get free picks uh, Just by watching this lane and it's really hard to contest this unless you use some really good teamwork on your side So honestly in my opinion control really hasn't even been good since you know black ops 4 uh, You could argue maybe raid control itself was good But that was probably the only good control map since you know bo4 in general, you know in my opinion We should really only be playing maps that are like 60 40 or 55 45 just to keep that energy flowing uh, throughout the entire map you know you don't really want to just be playing for round fives you know i do see the point that teams were making where it is technically still competitive because the teams that are better on offense where they're getting kicks and getting caps are going to be the ones that are favoring themselves by getting the round five defense but in my opinion this is just a fully stale way uh, for us to watch and play the game and it really isn't benefiting anyone when we could just be playing a, a map that's 60 40 so although there is some competitiveness with you know actually getting those ticks on offense and being a better offensive team it's just a super stale uh, viewing experience for pretty much everyone and it becomes a bore fest you know and that's pretty much the complete opposite of what we want with control we want it to be fast paced we want it to be exciting similar to hard point you know that it is that game three that turning point mode that a lot of teams might rely on to get back into a series you know we want offenses to actually be competing in rounds you know getting full points not just one or two ticks we want them to be winning rounds and you know actually maybe possibly putting the defenses in a trap of their own so we want that 60 40 split i do still think there should be a slight advantage for the defense just because of round fives uh but you know it really needs to be tighter especially uh when we're choosing maps like this and like i was saying before it's so disheartening when you might have that initial good break off on the offensive team but if you get maybe a two or three down, it's just that's just one mistake that puts you completely back to square one as if you had lost a break. And now, you know, you have your team completely stunted with one guy open, one guy inside maps, uh, up in your ass, just playing in these corners, still a guy top dub, you know, and then you're just having to throw lives out just trying to coordinate something with your team and it's just almost impossible to the point where teams were just trying to sit and spawn to just completely secure that round five defense on lives and that to me is where we cross the line and that's you know where we definitely do not want to be uh, when we're picking control maps because if that's happening that's completely the opposite of what we want on a map so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on this and i'll see you guys in the next one